Hello my friends, welcome back to another tutorial. Svenja here from Svenja Cristina Photography and today we're going to talk about... Oh no. Please don't find me. We have a fly in the house. A distracting, annoying fly. Well, I was hoping we could have coffee together while I talk about this video, but now I, have to, now I feel like I have to protect my coffee. So that the fly doesn't fly in there. Now I don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, today we're going to talk about distractions. So I don't know about you, but when we're at the beach or when we're going to the beach or when I dream of going to the beach, I envision this vast empty space that we have all to ourselves. Now our reality sadly looks very different most of the time and there's always a lot of other people also enjoying the beach. And I have three three tips for you on um, how to combat this. So the first one is your choice of lens. This is my trusty beloved 135L that I usually use for outdoor pictures because it's wonderful, it's great lens. But what I wanna say is the benefit of a long lens is that it has a narrower angle of view as compared to the 35, which is a wide angle lens. So with the telephoto lens you automatically crop out a lot of the distracting elements just by by nature of that lens and also you can kind of because it compresses things nicely you can kind of blur them and they become less distracting that way tip number two angles when you have your camera angle yourself in such a way that you can crop out distractions left right and even center if you're photographing someone you can maybe hide distracting people behind your subject and get rid of them that way. And the third uh, tip that I have for you is you have to take him out. I meant in Photoshop. You have to take him out in Photoshop in post-production. So this is what I want to talk with you today about at length. So grab your coffee. Let's enjoy this together. Mm. And let's dive right into this tutorial. Did you know that there's two ways to do content aware fill? I didn't know that. So I'm going to share with you how to use these two different ways. I'm sure you're going to find this really, really helpful. At the beach, you're rarely by yourself, as is in my case. There are people in the background. Granted, they're blown out, but I still want to make it look like it's just Henrik on the beach all by himself. So first things first, I'm going to duplicate my background layer by pressing Command J, because this allows me to do non-destructive editing. I'm going to do all of my edits on this layer. So if I mess this layer up, my background layer will still be intact. The first step is I'm going to select my patch tool and I'm going to make a little selection here pretty close around these distracting people and then I'm going to press shift F5. This brings up the content aware fill menu right here. You want to make sure that content aware fill is selected and not any of the other ones. That you have color adaptation check marked and that the blend mode is set to normal and opacity at 100%. With these settings you're good to go and you want to press ok now this did a really good job here it took out these people pretty well i got some creepy eyes here but i can fix this easily by just taking another making another circle around them and then just dragging to a different spot it samples from there and this looks good now i also want to show you going on to this next little patch of people right here Instead of pressing Shift F5, you can also access this by going to Edit and then Fill. And it says here Shift F5. So clicking this gives you exactly the same menu as the shortcut Shift F5. It's identical, it's just a different way to get there. I'm going to press OK. And again, it did a pretty good job. Now, I'm going to show you a second way. I'm going to turn this layer off. We have my distracting people back. I'm going to take an empty layer right here. If I were to select my distracting people right here, I'm going to press Shift F5 here. Content to fill. You know this now. All the settings are the same. I'm going to click OK. Nothing is going to happen. And you know why? 
because I am on an empty layer, so Photoshop has no pixels available to fill the selection that I made. But there's another way for this. So we're going into Edit, and then we're gonna go into Content Away of Fill right here. And now you see all of a sudden there is stuff that's green, and you may wonder why, what the heck is going on here? Well, the color green simply indicates that this is the sampling area. This is what Photoshop is going to use to fill this selection. If you look over here, the selection is filled pretty nicely. So it did a really good job. So I shouldn't really change anything here because it looks good, but I do want to show you how you can use this tool. There is a minus button and a plus button. And with the minus button, you can take away areas that you don't want the tool to sample from. Like I don't want it to sample from his pants or from Henrik in general, because we have a beach scene here and I want the background to be beachy and not Henrik. -y. <laughs> and I also don't want this part of the bucket here and you can see it did affect a little bit of this area right there. And it actually sampled from the side right next to it. So if we wanted to get rid of that, we could try and add the minus right here and see what it does then. There we go. Now it looks really good actually. Now if you wanted to add um, areas on, you can click the plus tool and you can paint this area back on. Um, wouldn't recommend doing that <laughs> it's messing everything up so but this is just to show you how this tool works hopefully it's going back to where it used to be and it did so this is pretty good um, I have my opacity here set at 50% you could also make it less see-through or more see-through depending on your own preferences I like it at 50% so I'm gonna set it back there and you can change the color of your overlay here if you fancy you just drag it around in here as well I'm just okay with what it looks like um, then you have different area options for sampling I use auto that worked fine and then I didn't change any of these settings here either and I'm gonna say output to current layer because I made an empty layer specifically for that so I'm gonna click OK and now we have on this layer right here our selection turning it off turning it on there it is I'm gonna press command D and we have these two little eyes again so I'm gonna try and see if I can get rid of them here and I can because I'm still within my selection here on this layer I don't know if I make any sense <laughs> hope you understand what I mean and then I'm going to do the same thing again I'm gonna select these people right here I'm gonna click I'm on this empty layer, edit, content aware fill. This is my spot. I'm gonna minus out this piece right here. And strangely that affected something. And I wonder why we still have, oh, maybe because of this thing here. I'm gonna paint that off. Let's see what it does then. It makes more blue. But yeah, if you can play around with this and figure out what you like it to sample from, where you'd like it to sample from, I'm going to fill this here back in because I think this looks okay. So here we are and it's looking pretty sharp over here with an edge. I'm gonna click okay, but I did like the other selection a bit better, I think. Huh? Actually, it doesn't look that bad. I'm gonna finish this one up first. Command D. What I like about my first method, the Shift F5, is that you work on a layer with complete pixel availability. So you can drag with the patch tool, you can drag it wherever you feel like it would match without having to worry about whether or not there are any pixels present because you have pixels and you have a lot of them available. So this is a fairly easy job fixing an image that looks like this. Look, I'm dragging it over here where it's green, but the tool is smart enough to match the colors to its surrounding. So this is really nice to be able to rely on these automatic Photoshop tools right here. And this looks pretty decent. Now for this method up here, we're gonna run into issues because we need to be up here. If I try to drag this, 
there is no pixels available. So in this case, oops, I don't want that. So we're gonna go back right here. What you'd have to do is I'm gonna duplicate layer one because I already took stuff out there and then you can merge this down. You're gonna click in the top layer or in the bottom, it doesn't matter. You're gonna hold down the shift key and you click in the other layer. Then you're gonna press command E to merge these layers together. There, this is the new layer. And now you can just drag it make a selection with the patch tool and drag it along. All right, we have two options now for the people being taken out. And I do like the top one a bit better, but it has a red thing right here and the other one doesn't have the red thing right there. So I'm gonna click in my layer mask. I'm gonna press B for my brush tool. I'm gonna have to make it a lot smaller, pressing the left bracket key to do that and it's a black brush wonderful and it's at 50 percent opacity i'm going to bring that up to 100 percent i'm going to paint over it and actually i'm going to undo this i think i have a pretty hard brush no i don't good soft brush maybe i'm going to change the opacity back to 50. i'm going to press command plus to zoom in and then i'm going to ju just paint over it right here there and now I would say this looks pretty good, except for this part over here. So now I'm gonna bring my opacity up to 100 and I'm gonna just paint over it to make this sharp edge go away. And then I am done. So now I am okay with all the edits that I have made. I can merge down Command E and have a new background layer. You do not need to have a blank layer in order to do the content aware fill here you can also do it let me just get rid of the blank layer we're going to duplicate our layer and obviously you could use any other selection tools like the lasso tool the quick selection tool or whichever one you fancy i just happen to like doing it with my patch tool so i'm on a layer with full pixels and i can still go in content aware fill There, making it bigger and command minus making my other canvas a bit smaller so you can see here it works the exact same way we're gonna minus out these little distracting areas right here we're gonna get our sharp edge again we're gonna click OK and then we can just go from there and we can drag it where we wish to and I am done Well, my friend, I hope you found this tutorial helpful and entertaining. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I would love that. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to be notified when my next video goes live, usually every Tuesday. Um, if you have any questions of what you would like me to edit in the future, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And I look I look forward to hearing from you. And um, anything else that I wanted to mention? I don't think so. We're done for today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. Until then, take care. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye. I need to stop this. Ha! Ah, I'm too, too wiggly.